tonight, the tragic death of an AFL star in Las Vegas. The football world is in shock after confirmation of Port Adelaide player lost his life at the start of an end of season trip. It's believed 22-year-old John McCarthy died after falling from a hotel balcony. That was a massive shock for our football club, for the wider community. It was a national story. And so in those moments, I provided care and counselling and also took front and centre stages, as it were, and led a memorial on our training facility at Albert and Oval. And the other one is more recently the death of Phil Walsh, who had been a coach. He's a life member of the Port Adelaide Football Club. He was a personal friend of mine, and he his life ended uh, in July 2015, and that was a massive shock to everybody, to the whole city of Adelaide. Here I was at four o'clock on a Friday morning, sleeping, and I get a phone call from our player welfare manager to say, "Mark, can you come down to the club? Uh, we're going to need you." Uh, our our coach Phil has allegedly been murdered overnight and so I got down to the club and of course it wasn't my time to grieve at that point in time, of course I was really really sad and absolutely in shock but I went into automatic pilot as others who were involved with the welfare did. My role was to simply usher the players into the club that day, to be with them, talk to them about grief and how this is going to look and feel, uh, all the various ways that they could or would respond and try and validate all those things and just be with the boys for that day. And as the days transpired, being part of that welfare structure as a chaplain was vitally important. Some wanted to go to those deep conversations and, and others didn't, and that's okay. But the club did a remarkable job in putting their hands around the, uh, the, the boys, the coaches, and somehow got through a really resilient bunch. And it was a real privilege to be involved in that. Although, of course, I wish I didn't have to be involved in such a thing. It would probably be the hardest thing I've ever been involved in. I also had the privilege of leading the memorial service here at the Adelaide Oval for Phil Walsh and the family and so it was, a, it was a massive deal not just for me and the club but the whole city here actually. Sporting clubs that don't understand the value of a chaplain really haven't thought through their staff and we live in a world of occupational health and safety and duty of care and you can't have enough help. You know, in, in, a, in, a, in a professional sport, we have a doctor and a physio and a nutritionist and all kinds of specialists for specialist things. If there are people who are available who can care for um, people in grief, tragedy, sorrow, if they're feeling disoriented, mental health issues, these are all around about us and some of these things are growing. Domestic violence, family breakdown, a sporting club a wise sporting club is thinking through opening the door to a chaplain to deal with some of those things because they do happen. When tragedy strikes, and it often does, who will be there? Now I'm sure there, in every sporting club there are great people, but a chaplain is often well skilled to step in and to provide extra support. Why wouldn't you have it?